What is going on YouTube? It's Rashad from 212 Exotics and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the two new additions I have to my reptile room plus giving you a reptile room tour but first intro What is going on everybody welcome back to my channel um, first off I'd like to say congratulations to myself Yep, as you see guys, I finally did it. I finally jumped the broom, I finally got married. Uh, got married this past weekend, so uh, really excited about that. And uh, I know you guys are probably thinking like, if you got married this past weekend, then why are you uploading videos to YouTube? <laughs> um, honestly, it's almost five in the morning right now and I think my wife is asleep, so perfect time to get a video out to you guys. Um, so that went on this past weekend, but like I said, in today's video, I want to get into showing you my two new additions and giving you a reptile room tour. So without further ado, here's my reptile room. All right, guys, so this is my reptile room. So as you can see, this is my hatchling rack right here and hatchling rack below it. Uh, the top rack is made by, I believe, Dragons, hold on. It's on the back of it, hold on one second. It's not on the back of it anymore. But anyway, it's made by Dragons for you or something like that. I, I'm good with messing up people's names if y'all don't know yet. But I will link that right here on the screen so you know where it came from. Um, this lower enclosure is actually an animal plastic enclosure. Um, it's gonna be for my babies, hopefully pretty soon. Um, if you don't have one of these in your snake room, you are missing out. It is a one gallon water sprayer. Um, it helps me for misting my snake cages amazingly. Um, sorry y'all. Helps me for, for misting my snake cages amazingly and it works uh, fantastic. Um, over here is just my storage as you can see. Tubs galore, tubs, tubs, tubs. More tubs and more tubs and more tubs. Got some Repta Chip or Pro Coco or whatever I got in it right now. Um, storage bin down there just has like shipping boxes and stuff in it. As you can see right over there, some more Pro Coco. Um, shout out to WTG Reptiles. That's who's on the side of that. I can't really get a close up on it, but as you can see, it's there. Um, otherwise, here is right now my mail rack it is a tgr rack with the uh, fb20 tubs so all of my mails in there my banana pie my um, pastel clown my super fire my banana ghi and my banana pinstripe so those are all my mails in there um, this is my row out slash I don't know, uh, mid ties or whatever you want to call it. Um, so <laughs> this has my uh, pastel head pod, my pod, my pastel lesser head clown, my pastel Mojave, my black pastel, who is in a pre uh pre lay shed right now. Let me see if I can get a view on her. As you can see, I don't want to bother her too much, but. She is having a pre-lay shed right now. I am super excited for this clutch. It is a uh, banana GHI clutch. So that's her. All right. Um, so over here, oh, this rack is also made by uh, Animal Plastics. 
Um, and on plastics, make some really good racks. They hold heat pretty well, humidity pretty well. Uh, as long as you're using the right tubs in them, uh, they work fantastic. Right here is my Sea Serpent 28 quart rack. I have four females in there right now. I have my Pastel Mojave Spider, my Super Mojave, my Pied Female, and my Big Normal. And that bottom, bottom slot is empty for now. <laughs> um, in the reptile room, you can never have too many paper towels. Uh, this little thing on the floor right there, that is to tell what the temperature is inside the room. And uh, most of you guys are probably wondering, why is it on the floor? It's on the floor because I keep it there because it's the coldest place in the room, which is the floor. Everybody knows heat rises to the top. So here is a view of my incubator, my poor empty incubator. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it is, if it can focus, it's 78 in the room right now, 88 in the incubator, which is right where I want it. Um, on the inside of the incubator, of course, I have my heat tape and my water bottles to help heat rise really quick. Um, if you can see right there, it's kind of dark, I know, but there's a fan. I put a fan in, it's not on right now, but I just want to circulate that air when I do have eggs in there. Um, I did build this for a total of 25 bucks. The heat tape, the thermostat, you know, um, the Accurite didn't cost me anything. I got the uh, cooler for free, actually. A guy was getting rid of it, it didn't work. He bought it off of Facebook and uh, <laughs> it didn't work like he thought it was gonna work for what he needed it for. So he posted it on Facebook and I got it out of him for free. Um, of course, more paper towels. Um, that is what I bring home live rat jam when I have them. Uh, already got my egg boxes ready right there. So this year I am trying something different. Um, I am trying, sorry, my battery's dying if you hear it beeping, but um, I am trying the Eevee hatch trays. So that is something I'm trying to uh, use this year, which is easy hatch trays. I think those would be great. Um, not that I am against sticking eggs right on substrate, I just, want to try something different. Um, there's my scale. I picked this up from, uh, I think Dollar Tree or something for a dollar. So just so I can have it, it all my ball pythons fit in it. So there, there that is. Um, sorry guys, my battery is going dead. I know it keeps beeping, but um, thermostats over there going. I am using Vivarium Electronics right now. Um, not that I've had any problems with them so far. This is just what I use. Um, as always, I got my dial soap, the RepTisafe. Does anybody really use this? Comment down below if anybody like really uses this stuff. I think I've used it once. As you can see, it's still a full bottle. Um, and it came with a, like a kit or something I bought. Anyway, my spray bottle, my mite spray, sanitizer. My spray bottle that's back there with the green thing on it just has this right here and water. Soap and water, that's the best cleaner so far that I've used. Um, this is my Funko Pop, my Steve Irwin with the alligator. He has one with a turtle and he has one with a snake. I definitely gotta get the one with the snake. <laughs> um, other than that guys, that is pretty much it. I don't know what else to say about my reptile room. Oh, here are my two setups over here. That's Eats Isma right there and that is crunk up there um if you notice i do have those guys on coconut um i find that coconut works works best uh i know a lot of people probably gonna be out there saying oh your beardy shouldn't be on loose substrate and all this extra stuff but um guess what mine's on loose substrate so i can give a damn what you think <laughs> um but my beardies don't eat the substrate. As a matter of fact, I tongue feed my beardies, so they're not messy eaters. They're not down there eating substrate. Uh, the When they poop, it keeps the smell down, and all I have to do is go in with a paper towel or a glove and just grab it out, and it's just fine. Um, these guys, I mean, people tend to over-exaggerate uh, conditions for reptiles when they're holding them in captivity. 
we got to remember these guys are Australian animals. These guys are wild animals. They run across all type of terrains. So until somebody can prove to me different, then my beauties will be on Pro Cocoa or Coconut or Rifted Chip or uh, Cocoa Blocks, whatever I have at the time. I am none biased against that. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. That is my Reptile Room Tour. All right, guys, here is one of my new additions. This is Yzma. <laughs> she is a bearded dragon, as you guys can tell. I don't know why it's so hard to get the camera to focus on her, but she is a bearded dragon, as you can tell. Um, I got her actually yesterday, today-ish. Got her on Sunday. It's now Monday um, when I'm uploading this video. But um, I got her from a guy named Ike Black, who is a Georgia uh, bearded breeder. And uh, she is a translucent bearded dragon. I know it's going to be really hard to tell, but translucent beardies, they have that all black eye. That's how you know that they're translucent. But um, I actually went to get one bearded dragon, but I ended up with two. So this is Yzma and this is my female beardy, <laughs> as you can see. She's really cool. Um, I just wanted to add something new to the reptile room. So I got this girl and she's really cool. Um, but I'll go ahead and get the second addition to my reptile room as soon as this thing like focuses in. There we go. All right, <laughs> here, comes, here comes the second one. All right, everybody, here is my second beardy. <laughs> His name is Crunk. He is a het hypo bearded dragon. Um, you can kind of see the pattern on him. If it'll get it, there it is. You can see that pattern on him. He is a het hypo bearded dragon, and his name is Crunk. Um, we named him Crunk, Isma and Crunk, Crunk and Isma. If you can figure out that reference, comment below and let me know where you think I got it from. Um, but this guy, this is the guy originally went to pick up and I ended up with Isma as well. Um, just so I can have a pair. Um, not really looking to breed these guys. Um, just one of them is pets. So that's what I did. I always thought Beardies was cool. So I went and got one. Um, this guy is a little skittish, but he's been pretty cool. Um, I really haven't taken him out of the cage much. I've just been trying to let him get settled in and everything like that. Um, so. But like I said, this is my two new additions to my reptile room, Crunk and Isma. If it focuses on them, there he is. So you can kind of see him. That pattern is, is wild and wicked. Um, but yeah, there he is. He's already, I've fed both of them today. They're already eating for me. Uh, they seem to be settling in pretty fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back, let him get settled and uh, wrap this thing up. All right, guys, there it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, comment and share. I'd really appreciate it. In the next week's video, I promise you, I'm going to be bringing you guys up to date on my breeding plans. And in a future video, don't forget, I got that FB40 rack bill coming. So um, I finally received my heat tape. I got my tubs and I got my plastic that I need to cut. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along on that journey. Uh, in the meantime, you guys can follow me on Instagram at 212exotics. You guys can find me on Facebook at 212exotics. And I can blah, 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 blah. Boom, 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 boom. Huh. In the meantime, you guys can follow me at 212exotics on Instagram and 212exotics on Facebook. Thank you, guys. I look forward to seeing you again. Peace. Peace.